guys! So in case you haven't noticed, it takes me forever to actually make a video. Well, well I think the real cost makes giving bad. I'm getting fatter, but I don't want to deprive you guys of my fat machine for potentially months at a time. But fat machine. So I finally set up something I can do. You little thieves! Did you really think you could just eat or mind joke? <laughs> How'd he get in here? But yes, I am shamefully stealing the doo-doo. Now all I have to do is to do-doo now the chaos emerald and my soul. But because talking is boring, I'm gonna be talking about something near and dear to my heart. Doop, well, doop, track, shapes, etc. All the building blocks of modern literature and where they came from. Well... So, as is only appropriate for a first episode, let's talk about bees. Oh, no, no, Not the bees. No. no. How does a story generally start? Well, generally, the story starts. But how does a story generally start? Well, generally, something has to go <laughs> Not always, but a lot of the time. We call this an inciting incident, although inciting incidents don't actually have to be <laughs> They just have to be something. Whatever it is, it launches our poop into the end. Now, this isn't really a start. It's the shark. Now, this isn't really a trope on its own. It's just a thing, and it's not even a thing that always happens. It kind of is, but it's not really a thing that means anything. It's, it's a thing with potential, but it's not as much of a thing as everyone thinks it is. How did I talk about this for f sake? Try finding the inciting incident in Lord of the Rings. Is it Frodo brain bothering? Is it ballistic going Boromir prompting Frodo to shit on his own? And is it Bilbo getting the ring way back in the hob? They're all turning points, but there's no single incident responsible for the whole. What is what? But sometimes there is, and when there is, you can generally tell immediately. In a prom prom, the inciting incident is the meme in detective stories. Point is, something specific and easy to isolate tends to happen. But why? Well, speaking as an internet content creator, it's because the number one lesson we're all taught these days is to grab your audience by the eyeballs and don't let go! Good oh, God, man, do you want to so fade into obscurity? Right <coughs> grab your audience by the eyeballs! Everyone's taught that art is an arms race, and if your elevator pitch isn't the most eye-catching thing in the room, your audience will drop you like the <laughs> The matter is, the fact is, writers are taught not to trust taught. In general, to guarantee a decent-sized audience, you do need to provide your reader with things you hope they find. Hey, uh, realism is dark. When movies or comics strive for realism, for some reason this always manifests as dark, gritty action and fuckloads of just Real life isn't generally like that, so it's- Wow. One word. Stakes. Now, high stakes are great, debate, right? Free you got your audience, keep high. invested, raise the stakes is like the first rule authors are taught these days. And it Decision kinda makes sense. You want every story twist to be bigger and badder than the last CSA one. Otherwise your audience will be all, Oh man, this is so boring, I'm gonna go watch a video of increasingly sizable explosions to renew my interest in life. Well, the answer is that realism isn't realism. Realism is basic. Realism is nothing. And it was so boring. So the Watchmen was a miserably unhappy re-examination of a bunch of thinly veiled DC XPs where Alan Moore sat down with the character premises and thought through what they'd actually do. Do. Dr. Manhattan is a literal physical god with perceptions far beyond the human norm. He's But! But the book is subverting this. Grab your audience by the butt! Whoa! I'm gonna hit you so hard. Let me take a minute to talk a little bit about Into the Spiders, and there will be spiders. So skip ahead, if you will. But anyway, Grimnark realism is guilty of a bigger crime than mangling two of my favorite superheroes. It takes away the emotional variability of the story it's being used in. If everything is dark and terrible all the time, you can't really make things worse. Dark and terrible all the time. You can't make it to the end. You can't make it to Dark and terrible all the time. You can't really make things worse. Dark and terrible all the time. Dark and terrible all the time. Mangling two of my favorite superheroes. So, why is writing girls difficult? 